Hey folks, welcome to my HTML5 tutorial. HTML is a renowned tool used by web designers and developers to make ballistic websites. By the end of this tutorial, I'll help you to clearly understand the concepts of HTML5, such as tags, attributes, web pages, and websites. My name is David, and I train people to help them become better software developers. Who should attend this training? I encourage absolute beginners to coding, refreshers, by refreshers I mean someone who has looked at code, probably HTML5 or another language, but wants to put HTML5 into practice, wants to understand it more and deeply. Technology students uh, doing any course at university, tertiary institution, maybe studying at home or anywhere, I encourage you as long as you're doing a technology course. Aspiring programmers, people who are very new to programming, this is a uh, this is a tutorial you should pay attention to. I believe it will be important. And software developers. I also encourage anyone who wants to make websites. They, I know today there are many trending tools like WordPress, Joomla, Drupal, DV theme, DV theme for WordPress, um, Wixi, and so on and so forth. But I believe you should pay attention to HTML5 and learn it. And I also encourage anyone who wants to transition from any career to a coding career. This should be a tutorial you should look out for. What should you expect? You should expect by the end of, of attending the series of this tutorial, you should be able to un you should understand HTML5 clearly. You should be able to create web pages without supervision. You should be able to work with HTML5, I mean HTML files, uh, pardon me. You should be able to create static websites, to preview web pages in the browser, to look at website source code, and to make, we shall also make a full website at the end of this series. By the way, this series, I think there will be f four to five parts uh, to to fully complete the tutorial. So stick around. What are you required of uh, in order to have fun throughout the training? You should have an internet connection, given this is a YouTube tutorial. You should be able to communicate in English, because I'll, I'll use English while I carry out this training. You should have the willingness and determination or persistence to learn whenever things get hard like they usually do. Uh, more trying helps us grasp more concepts and become better at things. You should have a computer and it should be you should have access to a computer uh, it, it's not it's not a particular about owning it but you should be you should be you should have access to one computer to use throughout this training and that computer should be installed with a code editor or text editor such as notepad plus plus vs code sublime uh, like like you see in well uh, throughout the training, I'll be using VS Code. Uh, the computer hardware should not bother you a lot because I uh, I believe even the smallest computers like a Raspberry Pi can do this work, can help you start and fi from start and finish the the training without uh, any hassle. You should have a latest browser. I encourage that, uh, and I, 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 I personally prefer Firefox to any other 
browser but be free to use Google Chrome, Edge, whatever you find comfortable. Uh, you should have basic computer skills such as typing uh, so that you, you find it easy while uh, running this course. You should be able to install and uninstall apps, navigate the operating system, create stroke delete directories and files. That way you'll find life easier. Why would you bother to learn HTML5? So one, if you want to be a web developer, I think the first thing you should look at is HTML5 before you look at anything like CSS, before you look at anything like JavaScript, you should learn HTML. And you should, uh, to understand what happens behind the scenes in websites, you should definitely learn HTML. To be able to create unique websites, to add a new tool to your knowledge and skill set. For example, if you know Python, if you know uh, graphics design, maybe HTML is something you need to learn to your tool set. Should be able to teach. Uh, I mean, you, I mean, you, sh you will be able to teach others. So to help them and learn about HTML5. Uh, to, th to strengthen your CV in case you are looking for a job, uh, you can also make HTML better by looking at what it does best and what it does poorly so that you, you, you suggest and propose to the HTML developers what you think would be the best approach to certain things and many more reasons. So what is HTML? Uh, my own definition of HTML is a markup language used to define or describe the structure of web pages using tags and attributes. Uh, uh, HTML5 stands for HTML stands for hypertext markup language. The latest version is HTML5 and was released on 28th October in, in 2014. I'll share links in the description of this video uh, for you to learn more about HTML. Let's dive into coding to look at HTML in practice, to look at how HTML uh, looks like. So Right now, I've opened up VS Code. VS Code is a code editor, it, which is very popular today, and I prefer it to none. But you feel free to use any other. There are many. There is Notepad++, Sublime Text, there is uh, Brackets, Atom, and so on and so forth. So I'll go, I'll, I'll go straight here and create a new profile. So to get started, to, to use HTML, you need to create a file and save it with an extension of HTML. That way browsers will be able to understand and interpret well whatever is in is in that file as long as it's interpretable. So let's look at HTML tags. Uh, we shall look at the first tag which is which is the, the comment tag. A comment tag helps you to a comment tag helps you to document your code so that you can follow back or you can guide other people who read your code. So it's written with a with a greater than with a less than uh, with a less than bracket followed by an exclamation mark, two and two minus symbols, then the comment you want, and followed by minus symbol and a greater than. So that's its syntax, as simple as that. So whatever falls between those, ta those symbols is considered to be a comment. For example, this one here is a comment. The 
this is a comment and the thing about comments is that they'll never appear on the web page they are meant for the coders they are meant uh, for the person who has who is creating the web page so we let's look at another tag which is this tag is mandatory it is required in all in all HTML files it's called the doc type it tells the browser that this document in this file is an HTML and it's of version 5 that's what it does then you will go to another tag which is also mandatory and it follows by the term by the, by using the word mandatory I mean something that is compulsory or required so in this case HTML is a required tag you cannot skip it in fact sometimes you may have to cram it though I don't emphasize cramming but you may have to cram it so that you know like we said HTML just defines the structure of a web page so this is how you you define the structure you'd have you write another tag called this is also mandatory and then inside here you can put this tag which is the title the title of the web page then you will close the head and go on to another mandatory tag called the body and close it and then close the HTML tag so you realize that with every tag we are opening it has a, a corresponding tag that closes it and the corresponding tag that closes it as a forward slash immediately after the less than symbol uh, or the right bracket the right angle bracket whatever you may call it so this means that if uh, HTML tags some HTML tags can be opened and closed uh, for example the HTML we open the HTML tag we put everything that we want to be within the HTML tag after the HT, after the opening HTML tag and before the closing HTML tag so if I am to use comments this one here is a closing tag any tag which has a forward slash in it before the word is is a closing tag and any tag that does not have a forward slash in it is an opening tag so there are other tags like 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 this but before before we go to those other tags let's look at what the what the title tag does the title tag doesn't appear on the web page uh, you know on the web page or the area of the browser known as the viewport pardon my spellings uh, so that's that's what happens uh, the, usually the title tag which is in the head does not appear but it appears in the title bar of the browser like we shall see so right now let's save this file so that we look at how the title tag looks like so I will use VS code and I'll go to save us then I will look for documents workspace uh, somewhere there should be a folder called lessons in workspace and a folder called HTML5 then I will write the file name here like we said uh, page page one like we said every page must end up with the HTML extension 
so that's why I say that whoever part of the requirements for attending this training is to know how to create files so we save it yeah that's it so after saving you realize that VS code will highlight the code to help me differentiate tags from comments and and all that so let's uh, let's now go and preview our web page how shall we preview our page if you are using a Mac you will go to the finder then look for the folder where you saved it and this one and here and we shall double click this and our default browser will open up uh, if this if if uh, your operating system asks you just say allow so we've we've created our first web page and the title we created in the in the head section is appearing here it's the title we, we, we called it the title of the web page so it appears in the in the browser tab you know so let's let's continue uh, adding more tags so they are adding tags which run from uh, let me put a comment here heading tags uh, ie h1 up to up to h6 so uh, where h1 appears as the biggest while h6 appears as the smallest heading so if we put here and say and put a word uh, heading one so i'll copy this and duplicate it then i'll come here and change this to two three four five we said they stop at six so we shall remove this then i'll also have to put a, a, uh, a closing tag so and i should not break things the moment i put the uh, the moment i put a wrong corresponding closing tag things will backfire so heading two heading three four five and six so we shall go back to google chrome and shall go back to google chrome or where excuse me so it's here then we shall refresh we refresh by clicking here or right clicking and click here or uh, yeah simply that so you you see heading one is the biggest heading two is the second biggest and etc there are other tags like the paragraph tag which which just displays normal text so this is a paragraph you know, it displays or renders normal text yeah that's it so we save mm. and go to google chrome and refresh yes this is a paragraph it displays or renders normal text there are other there are many other tags like we shall look at in the next video right now i would like to thank you for sticking around and <coughs> attending my first ever 
online training on YouTube if you are if you if you'd like to learn more I encourage you up actually to learn more about HTML5 and other coding languages I would like you to subscribe to this channel and click the bell button so that you'll be the first to know when I release new content. Cheers!